Hey there everyone, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and I'm going to do a what sold on eBay video for you. Um, I've got a few things that are not eyeglasses, so I'll go over those first and then I'll get into eyeglasses. I've got a lot of eyeglasses to cover because I haven't done this for a while, so I'm going to move pretty quick and go through these. There are a few new brands here to show you. Um, so let's get started with this first item. It's a pair of Swarovski Crystal clip-on earrings and these are just a silver tone metal with the crystals and those we found in a jewelry lot that we purchased a while back so probably just paid a few cents for these and they sold for $23. This is a set of 10 lion head um, like drawer pulls like knobs they're brass I found these at the thrift store. They were in a bag all together for $4. So that was a pretty good find. They're just little, a couple inches long each. And they sold for $40 plus shipping. This is a vintage air guide barometer, thermometer. <laughs> um, there's the name there, air guide. And it was kind of a retro looking style. I called it a banjo because it kind of reminded me of a banjo. We bought this at an estate sale, paid $10 for it, and it sold for $30 plus shipping. And then this is just a TV mount. We found it at a thrift store, new in the box, never been used, and that sold for $45 plus shipping. This is a fancy pizza slicer that we found at a yard sale. Bought it for a dollar. Love Gourmet. I don't know. It was very fancy. Had this extra little wheel for really cutting like serious pizza. And that sold for $20 plus shipping. This is a lot of those Thomas tracks. These are just those plastic tracks. I find these at the thrift store sometimes in a bag or at a yard sale for a couple dollars and I grab them and then I lot them all together. And so this lot here sold for $30. All right, so here we go into the eyeglasses. This is a pair of Marcon Airlock. There's the name, Marcon Airlock 2. They're kind of a pinky color rimless eyeglass frame. I paid one dollar for these at a thrift store and they sold for thirty dollars. And this is a pair of Coach prescription eyeglasses. These I paid five dollars for. There you can see the name there. And those sold for thirty five dollars. This is a pair of Diane Carroll. I had never seen this brand before or heard of them, but they were just so unique I had to get them. I got them at a thrift store for $2. As you can see, they're just really unusual style. I figured somebody would want them because they were so cool. And somebody did want them and was willing to pay $40 for them. So that was a good find. And this is a pair of Izod. Izod um, plastic frames, pretty basic, black. Well, I guess they had metal arms. There's the name, Izod. There's a better picture. And those sold for $35. I purchased them at the Goodwill for $2. All right, this is a pair of Michael Kors. if I can find the name brand down here. There it is, Michael Kors. I purchased these for $1.50 at a thrift store and they sold for $70. So that was definitely a really nice find on those. Okay, this is a pair of just regular sunglasses. They're not prescription. They're Daisy Fuentes. I've sold Daisy these this brand before. Um, they usually sell for about $20. Depending on the condition, of course, I paid a dollar for these 
and they sold for $22. And this is a pair of Converse prescription eyeglasses. There's the name. And these I paid $2 for at the thrift store, and they sold for $45. And here is a pair of Vera Wang, another pair that I got at the thrift store for $2. There's the name. You can kind of see that there. A little bit better to see there, Vera Wang. And those sold for $40. This is a pair of vintage Ray-Ban. Um, powder horn. These were vintage um, skiing sunglasses. They were just regular sunglasses, not prescription. They are the old Bosch and Loam. And I don't think you can really see it, but it says Bosch and Loam on the arm there. Really hard to see because it's just kind of etched in there. These I got at an, at an estate sale and I paid $4 for them and they sold for $80. This is a pair of Vogue. I paid $1.67 for these at a thrift store, and they sold for $75. Vogue is always a nice brand to get these older, um, discontinued styles that are really pretty. And these were in just excellent condition. Probably could have sold them for a little bit more, but um, I, I put them up an, as an auction just to see what would happen, and they went for $75. And then this is a pair of vintage silhouettes that I paid a dollar for. There's the name silhouette, and those sold for $40. And here's another pair of regular sunglasses, not prescription. They are Guess. They do say Guess on the side. I paid $2.50 for these, and they sold for $27. And here's a pair of Neo Style prescription eyeglasses. I paid a dollar for these at the ARC thrift store, and they sold for $25. And then the last pair I have is this pair of Brighton prescription sunglasses. These are very unique eyeglasses. They have these metal details on the side. So I paid $4 for these and they sold for $47. And so that's all I have to show you right now. Actually, I take that back. I've got one more pair that just sold a few minutes ago that I'll go ahead and show you. And this is a pair of Kate Spade prescription eyeglasses. The name was kind of starting to rub off there, but you can still make it out. Kate Spade. And I paid 75 cents for these eyeglasses, and they sold for $30. Alright, so that's all I have to show you this week. I'm going to wrap this up and get it posted, and um, thanks for watching.